All right, here we go. Is my footage laggy? Lag is bad. Bad lag. Can I get some unlaggy footage? Is my computer powerful enough to run this game and record it at the same time? I sure hope so. I paid a lot of money for this fucking thing. All right, yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's test it. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is uh, Sly King, and I'm here to show you some exploits on No Man's Sky. Just an introduction to the channel. I like to play No Man's Sky and Rocket League. Yes, yeah, about it. No, pretty boring, right? Pretty boring. But today we're going to be learning about some uh, exploits in No Man's Sky. As you can see, I have about 59 hours played. This save is obviously 2020. It's when I first bought the game, and it still sucked. So we're going to jump right into this one. Free money. All right, I say free, but free is definitely a generalized term. One of these ways does require you to put some money down up front. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure your inventory is all nice and cleared out. Oh, this could. Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. Oh man. Alright, so anyway guys, just a quick little thing of what we're going to be doing today. Basically, uh, introduction to the game, No Man's Sky is a space exploration game. Uh, you discover new planets and galaxies, and there's actually quite a bit of stuff to do. But, we're here to teach you how to ignore all of this and still make a bunch of money, so we're not going to really get too much into that. This is a freighter. You get to be on a big ship. Cool, cool, cool not what we're here for so we're gonna go ahead and start putting all of this stuff away so I can show you guys how to make free money as you can see I already have a cool 200 and something mil so we're just gonna leave that where it's at the only things you're gonna need are a personal refiner and I'd say roughly 100k start to get you where get you going get you going you'll be making pretty quick money and doubling that in no time and yeah, outside of that, we are ready to go. That's the only thing we don't want is pure ferrite, ferrite dust or uranium in here. Because, well, boys, we're going to be farming something super fun. It's called Lemium, probably. Anywho, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find yourself a nifty little space station. You want Corvax as the dominant life form and in the economy. It doesn't really matter what kind. You just want it to be rich. You want them to have a lot of money. And, but before we get into that exploit, the main way that I like to make money on this is with these bad boys right here is a circuit board. For a circuit board, all you gotta do is you gotta farm up a bunch of this, a bunch of this, a bunch of this, and a bunch of these. And real quick, before we get too into the free money, I'll just show you guys what that looks like. If we come to my star bulb planet, yeah, a lot of people say make your bases on freighters, but one problem with freighters is if you're growing on a freighter and you have too many plants in one generalized area, they start to not spawn in when they all pop and they all bloom so you can pick them and that just gets to be annoying because then you're missing out on profits. So we come out up in here and you just see I got some nice long lines because that puts the bulbs in different chunks and it stops things from despawning. But, you know, it takes a while to farm each one of these up, and you only get about a stack and a half. With all of my current farm, I'll probably make right around 100 circuit boards, which nets me right around 90 million. That's pretty nice, but it takes a lot of time, and it takes a lot of effort, and it's only once every 16 hours, and sometimes you need money now, am I right? JG Wentworth, what? Anyway, anyway, now we're going to get into the exploit. This exploit is basically... It's almost like merchanting back in RuneScape, except you're crafty and it's like using the potion hack to get free money back when, you know, old school RuneScape was still good. And like I said before, guys, you just find yourself that wealthy Corvax space station. You can just make sure you pop in with your personal refiner and about a couple of hundred thousand, at least 100k. Otherwise, you'll see some pretty slow income at first, but it won't pick up pretty quickly. So we're going to start this out with $224,498,258 and we're going to see how long it takes us to get to $250 million. It's actually not even going to take us that long. As long as my freighter... 
Oh man, boys, man. You know that sad day when you realize your freighter is in the system you're in and you don't want to use your crafting materials in the freighter to show people the exploit? Because otherwise they can't see the proper exploit because you're crafting what you're crafting from stuff you already have? Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and fix that real quick. Freighter warping montage, go! Just know those dudes are licensed under Sly King's YouTube channel. Please don't use them for any other profit purposes. And for you serious billies out there, that was a joke. Alright, let's get the freighter out of that system so I can't craft from it. And back to my wealthy Corvax space station I like to call Holy Uranium. And once we get more into the exploit, I'll let you guys know about kind of how I found this and why I use it. It's because No Man's Sky is a game. I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you that now. No Man's Sky is a game about farming. It's about making money. And it's about being very rich and doing that in the most lazy way possible. This is like a capitalist dream game. And as you can see, I've only got about 59 hours into the game. I already got an S-Class Freighter, an S-Class Exotic, and I got a couple of other S-Class ships in my base, plus a B-Class hauler that costs right around 100 mil. So we're going to go ahead and just wait. You know, it's like the military. You just hurry up and wait. And while we're waiting, guys, I've already told you how we're going to get Luminium, and that's what we're going to be farming today. So we're going to go ahead and go through what all we need. We need 50 Uranium and 100 Pure Ferrite. All right. A couple of things you might run into is you won't get ships to spawn, but as soon as you start seeing the green out there, you're good to go. You just gotta hurry up and wait. My fiance just spilled spaghetti. That's that's actually unfortunate. She was grabbing pickle chips and knocked it down. Oh, hey, look at that. And look at that. We already got our first round. One big thing to look out for, guys, is when you're looking for uranium and you're wanting to buy it, you can find the ships that have it, and it will generally be consistent with that type of ship. So this ship, I'm pretty sure, should have it. I've gotten it here before. And I'm wrong. Of course I am. Why wouldn't I? I'm, rec I'm, I'm recording. Why wouldn't I be wrong when I'm recording? And so we're just going to run around buying all the ferrite dust and uranium that we can get our hands on. And once you have a decent amount of ferrite dust, you want to start processing that in your portable refiner. So we're just going to pop this bad boy and get it going real quick. And bam, annoying sound start. Perfect. And now we're just going to run around and buy all the uranium we can. And I'll do something for you guys real quick, just so you get a better idea of what I'm spending here. So each Lamidium is going to sell for roughly 25k, give or take a few hundred from based on the profits in the place. And we need 100 ferrite dust to get that pure ferrite. So that's going to cost us 1,807. And then we're going to go ahead and buy everything this guy has to continue the exploit. All right, wonderful. Thanks, my guy. Code Anthony Ozdu. Your name wasn't randomly generated at all. And then we're just going to hurry up and wait. You know, like, this game's about farming and exploring, but who needs any of that when you're rich? You know, we can pay people to go farm and explore for us. Just want to keep an eye on your refinery. Make sure you're getting lots of good profits from it. You got a bunch of pure ferrite and uranium already. Big thing to remember is you need double the pure ferrite that you have uranium. So every stack of uranium, you need two stacks of ferrite. That's why we buy it all. And while you're waiting around, you know, you can do some fun things. You can go ahead and craft up all the aluminium you can. Which means I can make six. Which means I've spent 
not even 100k and I've already made 150k so I probably spent right around like 10k and I made 150 that's pretty it's, it's pretty self-explanatory about how much money you could be making doing this and you can just sit in the space station while you're watching YouTube buying stuff from peeps yeah but yeah we're gonna keep going to 150 mil see how long that takes us it's 220 right now I've been going for just a few minutes here And the big thing to remember is don't forget to buy the ferrite dust. Just because there's not uranium doesn't mean you don't need that. You'll need lots of that. And like I said, you can figure out which ships have uranium, so I'm pretty sure this guy's not gonna. But also, who knows anymore? Who knows anything? Thanks, guy. Let me hey, let me trade with you. Let me buy all your stuff. I don't want any of your stuff. And you just want to do your best to make sure you're getting a good balance. And I'm going to go ahead and not do this to 250 mil, simply because I don't really have to anymore. Plus, lucky you guys, I know such a better way to make money, and it involves doing absolutely nothing. Okay, you have to do a little, but it's so little that it's kind of funny. And it's... This way is pretty good, right? You know, like... Yeah, I didn't make any money on right here. I actually did. Now I'm at 203,000. I made like 110k there, doing absolutely nothing. And I have extra stuff. So, yeah, that way is pretty good if you're looking to make fast cash pretty easy. Now I'm going to show you the best exploit that I have ever found, and I actually found this recently. And I personally haven't had a need to use it, but for some of you guys just starting out getting your first free freighter, you can use this before you really start building that into your base to make yourself some quick profits. And don't forget guys, while we're here, while we're waiting on all this loading, if you're liking the video and you want to learn some more cool ways, or you want to watch me dunk on some noobs in Rocket League, <laughs> you like own golden because I'm bad. Then be sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can uh, get some future videos. So before I actually, before I hop up there, I'm glad I remembered this, otherwise it was going to be a long day for me. I'm just going to build, this part is definitely optional, you don't need to worry about this, but this is something I'm going to do. Are you kidding? I forgot I already had five on this planet, I'm going to cry. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to teleport to a planet where I don't have five of these. And the only reason I'm saving before I head up to my freighter is because I don't need to use this exploit. I already make tons of cash. And I don't want to delete my freighter base permanently. So this is uh, me creating a manual save so I can revert everything that I'm about to do. Hopefully. If not, it's not too big of a deal. What am I doing? As you can tell, I only have about 60 hours, so I'm still kind of new, but my favorite way to play video games is to learn how to avoid the grind. Just like a mob farm in Minecraft. It's a lot easier to avoid the grind if you take your steps. Summon our freighter up here. Alright guys, here we are, my capital ship. Tiny little thing, isn't it? And when I say free money, I mean this is the freest money you're going to have ever. Literally, you pay nothing and you make so much. And for any of you who may have already seen this exploit, or if it gets patched and everyone's using it and no one wanted to tell the creators about it, well, I'm sorry, I want those YouTube monies. 
All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have all of this cool stuff in your freighter that you've built up, right? Like, yeah, fuck all that. We're gonna come right here to upgrade and customize freighter, and we're gonna go reset freighter base. Woohoo! This is why I manually save. And once you reset your freighter base, it gives you this generalized structure. None of this I created, this is what pops up. This is all just here, right? So, where does the free money start, you ask? Well, your freighter is completely customizable, and I always loot these, because you never know, you might get some good. So, what you can do is this fun thing, you can just delete everything. And every time you delete something, it returns materials that you did not use. You didn't invest anything into this format, into this shape, into nothing. Well, that was unfortunate. Sometimes you'll make mistakes like this, but if you're careful, it doesn't happen. I'm just bad at that. Okay, it looks like we're back to where we need to be. And you just want to delete all this. Make sure to leave yourself a single access to a doorway. Otherwise, you're going to be lost in a small box on your spaceship. And you can just delete as you walk back, and yeah, and, uh, you get the you get you guys get the idea. You guys get the idea. Q montage of me deleting my base, and this really doesn't take very long. And I guess you guys kind of get the idea. Once you reset your freighter base, I'm going to show you what happens after you cleared everything out and you're ready to get back to it. And I'll be real honest with you guys, I did not do the best job of clearing that out and there's probably a couple black. Actually, no, I got it all. You get around a million silver. A million in silver for this, okay? That thing, that's the only thing that matters. Everything else is kind of pointless. You get some tridium too, but that's not really worth too much. And Yeah, you just get a million in silver, basically. 900k. It's a clean 900k, and you come right here. You reset freighter, and boom, look at that. You spent absolutely nothing, right? And what do you know? It's all back, and you can just delete it again. Look at that. The freest money known to man. And you can all do it from right here in the comfort of your doorway. And boom, look at that, look at that. We've already gotten 1.5 mil. It's been like five minutes, and I could go faster if I was really sweating. And... Well, now we're just gonna reload my manual safe. And alright guys, that has been Sly King's free money on No Man's Sky and in just 60 hours, even it's actually quite a bit less because that freighter one I just learned about when I got this new freighter. And yeah, you could you could be driving around in your own S class freighter warping three and a half thousand light years per per turn. With an S class exotic to yourself and a bunch of bases and just just full of everything materials the cool pets like i got a butterfly a giant thing and my predator and yeah yeah if you like the video be sure to like and subscribe guys y'all have a great day i'm out bye